Hello, I'm Inventor Dan Zen, and this is part two of taking a look at Falcon. Falcon helps designers and developers load data in from text files and XML files, and also pass data between Flash and PHP. Falcon's available at falconflash.wordpress.com. In part one, we saw how to load in text and XML. In part two, we take a look at how to pass data between Flash and PHP, and also get data into a data grid quite easily. Just a few lines of code. In the download file, or download zip file, you'll find a Falcon multiple variables example. There's also a Falcon variables example, which just shows how to receive variables. This uh, multiple variables shows how to send and receive variables. So we'll take a look at that. Let's run it. Control enter. And here's some variable uh, data that's come back from PHP. Uh, we've hard-coded in some variables to send to PHP, and those variables have values of hello and goodbye, so this sort of proves that we've gone round trip. In the document class for this example, we import our Falcon class. We create a new object to store the variables that we want to send to PHP. And we just store those variables as properties. So uh, var1 is equal to hello, and my vars.var2 is equal to goodbye. You might want to, say, put some information from a text field that the user's typed into in here. So you might want to move this code into your button event uh, method. Um, but anyway, we store our information in a variable, or in an object. And then we call our, we create our new Falcon object. My Falcon is equal to new Falcon. We pass it the PHP page that we're sending this to. We say that they're Falcon variables. And uh, we pass the object that we're storing our variables to send in, so my vars. We create a listener saying that when we get some data back from PHP, we call get data. And we can error check. And then what we do is our text field has a text property. And we store in that e.target.data.newvar1 and e.target.data.newvar2. These are the variable names that we're sending back from PHP. So you'll find that your falcon object, e.targets your falcon object, has a data property that stores or holds all of the variables that you're sending back from PHP. So let's take a look at the PHP. Before we go, uh, recall that we are sending to PHP my vars, which holds var1 and var2. In our PHP, we collect var1 and var2. Note that those names match. In dollar sign underscore post and store those in local PHP variables. We append those to a string and store those again in local PHP variables. Then we send back those variables using the CGI format. Uh, var1 equals value1 ampersand. Var2 equals value2 ampersand. So this is important. New var1, that's the name of the variable that we're sending back to Flash. So that's what we'll collect in Falcon in the data property. So remember e.target.data.newvar1. And then here's the data that's inside of that variable. Ampersand newvar2 equals and the data that's in newvar2. That's our CGI format. Now we have to be careful. The values of the variables that we send back need to be URL encoded just in case, say, there were an ampersand. If there were an ampersand in here like that, then it wouldn't know um, if that is a separator for our variables or, or what. So URL encoding will turn that ampersand into like a percent something or other, like a special code. So follow that syntax. And that's it. And that allows us to uh, receive those variables back in Flash. Let's take a look at the Falcon provider example where we have a data grid. And we'll run this, control enter. And we put in um, some data like uh, a good night. 
<laughs> if I can spell it, and a first name, a jolly good night. Jolly good night. And my greatest fear is hmm, <laughs> uh, snoring. And submit. So that submits the, that data to PHP. And then we receive the data here back again. PHP puts it into a database. And then we, we bring back the data uh, and put it into the data grid in very few lines of code. So let's see how we did that. This time in the document class, we import Falcon Provider because that works with data grids. Oh, back in the FLA, we have to make sure that we have a data grid. So there's a data grid component or something that has a uh, data provider like a list, a pull down list also has one. So we import Falcon Provider, which works with that uh, data provider for the data grid or the, or the list. We say that my Falcon is going to hold a Falcon Provider object and that there's our URL um, to the PHP file that we're, st we're passing Falcon variables and here's our new object my send vars that we're going to store the variables that we're sending to PHP. In the constructor we call get data but we'll come back to that. Um, we add a listener on the submit button that calls submit data down here we collect first name dot text last name dot text so this is the value that the users typed in we check to make sure something's there. If not, we call a JavaScript alert. Um, if something is there, we pass to get data. This is a function that we've made uh, ourselves. We pass in the first name, the last name, and the fear. And that was called get data. So get data, we receive first name, last name, and fear. And we put what we've received into a first name property on my send vars a last name property on my send vars and a fear property on my send vars so remember we need to send php the information that we've collected we put that in one object as properties then we create our new falcon provider we pass to it the url the fact that it's variables and the object that holds our data when the data comes back we call show grid Show grid does some error checking and then it sets the data provider property of the data grid equal to my falcon .data provider. So you'll find that my falcon has a data provider property. Now when you send back information the variables from PHP those variables need to be in a certain format we're going to see that and that way our falcon provider class if it's in a, a special format can create a, a, a data provider for you. And so this saves you a fair fair bit of time in code. Okay, let's pop on out to the PHP. We collect the first name, last name, and fear. We make a connection to our database. We insert into our database the stuff that we've collected. By the way, there's how to you know set up your database. Then we select all the rest of the fears, everybody else's, uh, and we loop through the results. And each time we loop through, we set a variable first name followed by a number one. We increase our i. So i is increasing. It's going to be first name one is equal to some value. Last name one is equal to some value. Fear one is equal to some value. That's the values for that row in the database. The next row will be first name two, last name two, fear two, etc. We pass that back. Um, that's uh, been URL encoded already. We pass it back right there. And that's it. So in passing back the variable names with one, two, three on them, Flash will put them into the data grid for you. Like so. Wee, that was fun. Bidding. There they are in the data grid. So, that's been Falcon at falconflash.wordpress.com. I'm inventor Dan Zen. Please come on by, check out the other Flash Feathers. You're welcome to add your link there if you've used Falcon and donate if you want. All the best. Have a great day.